the more I explore this area, it just makes me feel like I've lost my words, that's what it makes me feel like. The more I explore this area, the more it feels like Middle Earth to me. It's so much reminds me of Lord of the Rings, especially the Shire, this little area here. So another one of these walking trails. And to this side of me, you've got a, an old stone wall, traditional stone wall. And you've got the fields on the other side. Lots of bracken trees with just the early hints of autumn there um, but it's, it's a really like this path here there's stiles on that end and um looking back the far end there i've just set up my camera here just looking back down towards the the gate and stile at that end there's a tree on the left which is helping to frame that side and across the top of the path there with a fence leading in from the right hand side. So I'm hoping that will work. Just a single shot at F11. Um, I used the polarizer because it has rained a bit, so that should just help to bring out the colors. But yeah, it's, it's just beautiful here. Um, the rain's pretty much held off, so it's just a soft drizzle. But where it has rained, that's really helped the photography, you know, that moisture, water on the leaves and on the foliage. It really helps, especially use a polarizer. Um, to a certain degree, I probably won't polarize it all the way um, because it's still good to see a, a sheen on top of the, the foliage. So it's, it's kind of experimentation to how much you want to polarize the scene. It's amazing what you find when you do really start to look and explore further. Some trees behind me here. There's one central tree. There's another tree to the right of it. And in the far background is a, looks like a very small spruce, which is just in the gap where that central tree, its branches are angling across the top there. So I'm gonna try out a few compositions here. Um, it's perfectly still, so I don't need to worry about the shutter speed. So ISO 100, um, probably flick between F8, F11. F8 is pretty much the sharpest for the lens I'm using. Um, well, the trees are in, in the distance, I've got nothing close to me, I think F8 should be fine.
Well, it's raining, it is Snowdonia, so it's kind of what you expect, really. The big contrast to the last week where the temperature was really high, about 26 degrees and sunny. It's at least 10 degrees cooler uh, this week. Well, I've got my fleece top on, so that's keeping me warm. But I'm just driving up through the Gouda Forest here. It's a single track road, which leads to my cottage. And I just parked there, because I did notice, looking back, the road curves away. Uh, makes a bit of an S curve. And I can see there's trees in the background, so they serve as a focal point. But yeah, I just quickly set up my camera there. I did a few shots uh, with the polarizer as it has rained, so it, it helps to saturate the colors. Uh, fairly long exposure, but that's okay because it's a calm day, so there's no movement in the foliage. But yeah, simple scene, scene but very typical of this area of Snowdonia. I did stop off at Swallow Falls Waterfall and I did take quite a few shots there. Um, I couldn't really vlog because it was too noisy and busy. It's quite a large waterfall and it's very noisy. So it, it would, would have been impossible to vlog that. But yeah, it's an amazing waterfall. Um, I took a few wide shots, but I did a, quite a few close up shots. Um, I used the polarizer just to help slow the shutter speed a little bit. So I was between around about one tenth, one fifteenth of a second, so not too long. Just long enough to show a bit of motion in the water, but not too much. So I'm hoping those photos came out. Uh, if they did, well, I'll show, I will show them to you. Sounds like it's raining a lot, so I actually think it's the rain falling off the, the trees, off the leaves. So if I do actually stand on the, underneath a tree right now, I'm going to get wetter than standing in between the trees. It's actually just a fine spray of rain at the moment, so I'm not actually too wet. It's actually quite a relief to be a, a bit cooler this week than last week. Um, I'm not used to the heat and the sun, so... This is a, a good, yeah, I know, yeah, I'm just talking, talking, talking bollocks, yeah. I wonder how many other YouTubers talk bollocks like this and how many takes they do to actually get to the point where they're trying to figure out what they're trying to say and say it in a way that actually makes any sense.
in the deep in the heart of the Giddo forest. And I'm just following this trail. It's off the main, I guess you call walking trails where you can actually drive a car. But this one heads deep into the forest. Sort of an undulating footpath going through the trees. It's quite magical. But I've just come to a scene here. Um, I'll turn around. You should be able to see it behind me. Can you see the path? Snakes away behind me there. It curves through the trees. And it's, it's a magical scene. And um, once you've got the two trees, probably two on that side and one on the, the other side, in deep in shadow. You've got the canopy looming down from above. There's some old stumps further down the path, moss lining the side, grass. It's just rain, so the covers are nicely saturated. So I've taken a wide shot, um, three, four, three to five focus selected points through the scene. So I think I would like the, the depth of field here, um, especially with the grass and the, and the ferns close to the camera. But yeah, magical scene.